here. Today we're at the Scotch Plains Easter celebration on the Village Green. We're going to look for the Easter Bunny, some face painters, and maybe we'll be lucky enough to spot the mayor. I'm Samantha Roth with Scotch Plains TV. Let's go check out the fun. A couple of announcements before we begin. First and foremost, I want to thank the Cultural Arts Committee this year for all their hard work. Irene Bartels, Rose Checchio, Rose Checchio, Sylvia Hicks, Kimberly Nix, Sue Denizio, Denizzo, Valerie Grasso, Mandy Jacobson, Leah Acevedo, Maureen Lacosta, Rogue Graziano, and my first lady of 43 years, Joanne Glover. I think we've got everybody there. Secondly, I want you to give it up for all our volunteers who helped uh, stuff the eggs and have put them out and work to organize this what will be a fantastic event albeit the weather might have been a little warmer for all of us but they are from Immaculate Heart, St. Bart's, Park Middle School, Terrell Middle School, High School, uh, the High School and Union Catholic. So let's give a great a round of applause to all our volunteers who worked tirelessly this week stuffing 5,000, not four, not three, but 5,000 eggs. And with that, I want to point out to all the kids that are participating that some of these eggs have little prizes in them. And so when you open your egg, not only look for the chocolate, but look for a prize that you may have won. And then there's a table set up over here, and you can see Sue Denizzo, and she'll hand you a prize. Good luck to everybody in finding those lucky eggs today. That said, give me one last round of, of recognition for this wonderful musical band and treat that you're about to hear, which will be conducted by Mr. our very own Mr. John Gillick. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Give it up for the Terrell Middle School Band, and have a great day. We have the Easter Bunny for photo ops in the gazebo. Do take advantage of it. Age groups, are we up and ready? The first group will be three, up to three, or three and under, as they say. The second group will be four to five. The third group will be six to seven. And the last group will be eight to 10. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day. Thank you all for coming out and being part of our 2015 wow, this Township of Scotch Plains Easter Egg Hunt. Thank you all. Yo, one, two, three,
I'm here with Kayla, who is doing the face painting at today's event. Kayla, um, tell me, why are you here? Um, I'm making my confirmation in June, and I need uh, 20 service hours for IHM. Okay, so how many hours are you putting in today? About like two or three. Two or three? And uh, are you a professional face painter? No, I don't think I'm very good, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm sure you agree. It looks pretty good. Do you think she's doing a good job? Yeah. All right, well, what seems to be the popular thing to paint today? An Easter bunny. Easter bunnies. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Happy thank you, Easter. too. Happy Easter. Take care. happy Easter day. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hopping, Easter's on its way. Jelly beans. 
for Tommy colored eggs for Sister Sue. There's an orchid for your mommy and an Easter basket too. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Look at him stop and listen to him say Try to do the things you should Maybe if you're extra good He'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way You'll wake up on Easter morning And you'll know that he was there When you find those chocolate bunnies Hopping down the bunny trail Hippity hoppity happy Easter day Hi, um, I'm Samantha with Scotch Plains TV We're covering the event today for Scotch Plains What are you making right now? I am making a purple puppy for Olivia here Yes, I see a lot of dogs. Is that one of the uh, more popular animals today? It is. Usually I make more complicated stuff, but there's a lot of kids today. So, got to stick to puppies and ladybugs. That's a very popular one. And bunnies, of course. Bunnies, okay. Absolutely. Yes. And Lots how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this about five years now. How do you learn to do something like this? Well, you really have to just kind of uh, be at the end of your rope in life. <laughs> and uh, you look at the end of your rope. And there's a balloon in the other end. Yes. And that's how you become a balloon artist. All right, there you go, Claire. Take good care of your ladybug. Thank you very much, Rod. Nice meeting you. Take care. Sure, yeah, no problem. I'm here with Mayor Glover on the Scotch Plains Village Green. Um, Mr. Mayor, please tell me what is happening here today. What is happening here today is we are having our annual Easter egg hunt, which has been a long-standing tradition in our community, put on by some wonderful volunteers who work tirelessly to make this the exceptional event it is this year. Um, what kind of improvements have there been since last well, year for this I'll year? Well, tell you the things that we've done differently. Well, first of all, we brought back, and with the, the good graces of our Terrell Middle School, John Gillick and his uh, Terrell Middle School band are performing once again, which makes it truly a special event. These kids, you know, getting a platform to show us how talented they really are and how amazing Scotch Plains and the community is, uh, are back on stage. I've been back on stage performing. Last year, we had 4,000 eggs. We thought we could top that 5,000 eggs this year, stuffed by all these amazing, you know, young volunteers. And, and they, they were... didn't need all the chocolate, too, I have to tell you. <laughs> but you can see by what you, you know, the, by, by the park, they all went. So maybe we can do more next year. I don't know, but we never know. And oh, there and were... I'm sorry, one last thing. We included prizes this year in some of the eggs to McDonald's, to Friendly's, something we thought would be a kind of fun spin on it. So we had to remind people often, don't just eat the chocolate, look for a prize. And as you saw earlier, we had a little young girl come by and say, I won, where do I go? And I gave her my Mickey Mouse imitation, which is, oh boy, over there. <laughs> so, and she got a big chuckle out of that. And so did you. Yeah. And there were a couple of different uh, age groups, right? So yes, were we they broken into? We broke them into, and I don't want to mess this up, but I think I can get by with this. One person told me zero to three. I said, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I said, how about if we say three and under, okay? And then we had four to five, six to seven, and eight to ten. And on the last hunt, anyone who came late and didn't participate, we wanted them all to go home with something special, enjoy this day, albeit it's warming up now. <laughs> and, and and they did. And I like I said, said I've, I've never seen so many smiles in the community and, it, and it's what we're all about trying to bring friends and neighbors together and to do special things uh, for the community and to bring attention to our beautiful downtown and uh, that's all part of making Scotch Plains better. 
So what are some uh, things we can anticipate happening here in Scotch Plains as the season gets warmer and we head into spring and summer? Well, we've got some very exciting, the Cultural Arts Committee has been working tirelessly and, 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 and thinking about what can we do differently, what can we do more to keep people coming to the downtown and enjoying what Scotch Plains is all about. So to begin with, you know, we had our Easter egg hunt. On May 16th, for the very first time, there will be an art show right here in this park. I mean, we are really looking forward to that. We've never done it before you know we have vendors coming to display their arts and their crafts we're hoping it's going to be a great turnout but you never know until you try so it's being organized by a wonderful woman on our uh, cultural arts committee who has done such amazing groundwork Leia and uh, the whole team is supportive of her we've got about eight people on the committee and we know she's going to do a great job everyone's supporting her and we ask you to come out on May 16th to our very first art show following that in June Scotch Plains will have an amazing event for all our families and our children especially. We will have Scotch Plains Friday night at the movies featuring some wonderful classic animation movies. You know, from Disney, uh, from Universal, uh, which is uh, incredible, me. <laughs> uh, it's a Universal property. My son will remind me who works for Universal, not Disney. I'll tell him I'm here to see Beauty and the Beast. But we will have that kind of venue every Friday night running through the summer. And we are inviting people to come out, bring their blankets, bring their popcorn, and, and just have a grand old time with the kids Friday night. And they can stay up late and sleep late on Saturday, we hope. Always a tradition for over 30 years maybe 35 years starting in july we will have our summer art our summer concert series and i will tell you folks we have lined up an amazing group of bands to come and to perform for us from a very big band and they are called the big band to a doo-wop group which will open up the concert series and we're looking to tie that into a classic car show in downtown as well so we are working hard, the Cultural Arts Committee is working hard, the township is working hard, our new manager, Al Mirabella, could not have been more supportive and is very supportive of bringing community events like this to the downtown. And with his support and some of his funding, <laughs> but mostly through volunteers and through contributions from individuals and companies alike, are we able to do this thing. And that's what makes it special. It's not, you know, we're not spending people's tax dollars people are stepping up and volunteering their time volunteering their money to put on all of these events so um, I'm just thrilled to be the mayor at this time and watching these amazing things take place what would you say is your favorite part about Easter specifically well I'm gonna put aside the religious aspect of it because um, I need I say more I mean important so of Easter and uh, the significant it is you know to me personally but what I will say about Easter it's in my family it's always been a coming together of family and uh, you know reflecting on you know the family and and the world we live in and um, my half of my family lives on the west coast now and I have a very small family so you know the idea of reflecting with them and being together is, is incredibly special uh, it's been something that I was brought up with and I know many of the families are so you know not to discount not even to the religious aspect is very important to me personally of course and uh but it is about family. I think all holidays, no matter what your religion, it's about being with your family and, and thinking and, about how to make the world better. Well, and yeah, and I, and I think that uh, we take our small steps. <laughs> we are getting a, gra getting a thumbs up from one of our citizens from his truck. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, Scotch Plains is an amazing place to call home. You know, I've always said we can always do better, you know, and our job here, all of us to, working together, is to make it even a better, even a better community to live in. And today we witness, you know, an example of how we can do that. You know, it's family and friends. Uh, and, and, and like I said, I couldn't think of a better time in eight years that I've served. I think it's about eight years that I've served. This year is truly special. And it comes from the support of all the volunteers who finally, you know, have, have, have stepped forward to make things like this happen. Having a municipal manager um, who is just so thoroughly committed to our, to our community. And uh, so I'm blessed for that. And this is the time of year for blessings. And, and may they continue.
Thank you so much, Mayor. It's Thank been a pleasure. So it's always a pleasure yes. being with you. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. Here's hoping he's hippity hopping your way. So straighten your bonnets and shine up all your shoes. And hurry, there's no time to lose. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. Happy Easter! He's riding Happy. an engine instead of a sleigh. Don't blink for even a second or he'll be gone. He puffs in at quarter to dawn. He'll be filling Easter baskets. He'll be rolling eggs like mad. Green in everything that's winter clad. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. He's hoping he's hippity hopping your way. So get your brushes and paints, give him a hand. It's Easter throughout all the land. I'm here with Vince, and he just saw the Easter Bunny. Um, how was that experience for you? Good. How did you uh, feel when you saw her? It, it was nice. Did you have your picture taken? Yes. Did you get anything up there, too? Easter eggs. What was in your egg? Hmm. My biggest is a guy, gum. Gum? All right, did you eat your gum? I like to eat gum, but I want to eat them at home. Okay. <laughs> Happy Easter! What's your name? Peter. Peter. What's your last name? Uh, Falco. Falco. What did you do today? Uh, uh, find eggs. You found eggs? What was in your eggs? Uh, candy. Candy, yeah. Did you do anything else? Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, I, I found a blue egg. Blue egg, yeah? Yeah. Is blue your favorite color? Yeah. I can tell because of your jacket. <laughs> did you see the Easter Bunny? Yeah. What did you do with the Easter Bunny? I take the pixel. Did you smile? Yeah. Was she nice to you? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited for Easter? Yeah. Yeah? Well, happy Easter. Thank you so much for talking to me. Look, look in there you and say look happy the Easter. And say, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Well, we sure have had a great time today out on the green, and I was lucky enough to catch up with the elusive Miss Easter Bunny. Miss Easter Bunny, is there anything you would like to say? Happy Easter, Scotch Plains. <laughs> for Scotch Plains TV, I'm Samantha Roth. Thank you for watching.